Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to code video in motion on a G20 BMW. So this is my 2020 M340i, but what I'm about to show you today should apply to all G-Series BMWs running iDrive 7. So when you activate this feature on the car, it's gonna be tied to your driver profile, so tied to the actual key. As you can see, that's my driver profile, and it's gonna be tied to the driver profile when you do this coding. So my reasoning for doing this is so I can wirelessly screen mirror my phone and actually uh, maybe put on a music video or maybe a YouTube video while driving for my kid in the back, etc. But even if you're just watching like a user help video here, we'll just, here, traffic jam assistance. As soon as I put the car, if I were to start the car, put it in drive, it's gonna tell me, there you go. For your safety, video's only available when parked. That's our problem. So as you can see, that's a little bit of an annoyance and I wanna show you how to code that out today. So you're gonna need an ICOM cable to be able to do this. I'll put a link in the description. You'll need your laptop. To code today, we're gonna to use ESIS. I'm specifically using ESIS X. If you guys are new to coding, ESIS is used to code F and G series BMWs. So um, you guys can look that up online, how to set up ESIS X, um, and then you'll be able to follow along with this video. I'm gonna switch over to my laptop now. So we're loading up ESIS. Go ahead, connect. I have my ICOM cable connected, obviously. Go down here to S18. This will apply to pretty much all G-Series cars, all the newer generation cars running iDrive 7. You want connection via VIN, Series I-Step. Connect. All right. We go expert mode, coding, read, read ECU. We're gonna scroll down to HU underscore MGU. And a point I wanna make in case you don't already have this backed up, make sure you save your FA, that's your vehicle order, and save your ECU list here. Um, so that uh, in case you have a problem and need to revert back to stock, you can. I already have them saved. You just basically click save and s just name the file. One for the vehicle order, one for your branch of modules. So now right here under HUMGU, the CAFD, the one that has a little green downward arrow, right click and click read coding data. Okay, that was done successfully. Close that. Now we'll come over here, press the plus sign. Right click where it's in yellow, and then SVD compare view. Click that. And now we're gonna search. First one we're gonna search for is video underscore speed lock underscore condition. Search for that. Right there. Press this plus key under auger lesson here. We gotta change this. So we're gonna right click this here, handbrake or gearbox, edit, and we're gonna change this to none. Now we're gonna search for speed lock underscore F R E I. That should pull it up. Right here, under here, I'll go listen, where it says niche active. We're gonna right click. Edit, change it to active. Now, next one, speed value. Search for that. Under min, uh, we'll just do max first, there's min and max. Right here. Right click, edit, and we'll look for niche active. Now we're gonna search for the next one of these, should be min. Right here, log listen. Right here, three kilometers. We're going to change that to not active. Now we're going to search for another value. Speed lock underscore x underscore 
kmh and see if we have a min and max of that right here this is already not active so that's fine and there should be a min that's not active as well we just want to make sure that those are not active if they are now that we've done those changes we're going to click the save button up at the top here now we're going to hit back okay so you want to make sure you're still on the same thing that you originally selected which i am because i just went back and you want to click code ncd if you have these others uh, not grayed out um, depending on what version you're using don't click code you got to click code ncd and then we'll see a pop-up and you may hear the car reset itself you may get a bong etc my iDrive is resetting right now all right it rebooted now but that means that the coding is done in German. We just click close and make sure we don't have any errors. We want to see green. There you go. Coding finish, green, no errors. That's what we want to see. So we're done with the coding. Now we got to do something with the iDrive controller to unlock this. I'll show you on my other camera. First, we want to disconnect. So even though we've enabled the coding, you have to actually use your iDrive controller and press up, media, home, media. And then that takes you to this menu. Let's close that out. And as you can see, normal speed lock function or deactivate speed lock. So then you just click yes on this and we're done. So you have to do that, otherwise you still haven't unlocked video in motion. So this is just for testing purposes, putting it out there, follow your local regulations. I will not be using this while driving on the road. I suggest that you guys don't use this while driving on the road. It's just a convenience feature, but you know, only on private roads, not on main roads, etc. So now let's just quickly test. So I'm gonna load up another help video. Start the car up. Okay, we got a video rolling right now. I'm gonna put it in drive. As you can see, I'm rolling, I'm in drive, and it's still staying on. It didn't give me that error. All right guys, that's a wrap on this video, showing you how to code video in motion on a G-Series BMW. Hopefully you guys found this video useful or entertaining. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, consider subscribing, I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.